think of a pop quiz here. So let's say I give you a scenario. I give you only like a method signature, no description, nothing. I just only like there's a method name like a bracket, and then I tell you it's a, actually it returns a promise. So question is, are you able to tell that we actually do a method invocation? It's actually an async call. <laughs> Very simple, maybe it's just a yes or no question. Do anyone able to answer that? <laughs> okay, I, I, I hear someone saying uh, uh, the answer is no. Do you all, all agree? <laughs> well, okay. I mean, ac actually, you you can't really tell. Okay, first part. I mean, I just put in a real definition of what really an async call is. It's in fact like a context of multi-threading. So I mean, say uh, if you try to say, well, maybe like you're not really making an AJAX call, like. A method invocation with an async away, and suddenly you say that that's an async call. That calls for alarm to really sound so much. So okay, give a few situation, but I want to take a look like a method invocation from outside, like calling functions, not like say okay maybe like uh, I do a J JSON as it some other function actually calling like JSON thing. You will see, you look at the implementation, it's pretty obvious this is, this function actually does make an easy call. Now what if maybe the, the one below is an async away? <coughs> yeah, it's a parallel call, okay. But you see, uh, I've just one of a way. I mean, why, why do I want to use an away? Look further down, I'm doing an event handler. What's actually happening is that, well, I'm trying to wait for maybe a, a result. When actually the, you hear, see the away, right? When it's trying to wait for a <laughs> promise to recombine, that's where the whole async behavior will actually kick in. The truth is, is when other functions actually make an invocation to this get JSON, it will continue to execute on the same thread. Now, okay, I saw that maybe this snap of code is because there's like event, like uh, exception handling, so I need to use a way. But what if I say, Okay, I, I don't want to have an exception handling in this function. What will be? Well, there's no such keywords. There's no need to use a thing. There's no a wait in there. So another situation that uh, somehow this is also looks like an async method because now I return the promise straight away. I don't use async away. It's because maybe technically there will be a performance hit. If I go and use away, right? This maybe the JavaScript engine might have to create unnecessary promise object to actually return. Might as well just get rid of it. So that's why, in summary, maybe the answer, of course, is no. You have to really look in the implementation. Okay. I have here about, uh, actually I put that in, well, like maybe I'll create a new repository to It also be a place where by a long way I may add in new information in, along this uh, repo. So the address goes as, uh, yeah, my GitHub handle, Y-I-N-G-K-H. So the report is at yes 2017 async constructs. Okay, come to the second part. I'm, I'm going to do a call for volunteers. I just like uh, happen to take over charge of uh, carbon footprint uh, calculator. That's for the plastic light. And now I'm like 
trying to form a team. About five, not, not too many. So the state is currently is that they, they have a web platform and are intending to try to refresh, maybe come with version two of it. So I'm making an announcement call for volunteers to give some of the time to actually be part of the core team. In fact, it's like a committee. But I'm pleased to tell you that uh, eventually this project will be in source. So if you're interested, you can just talk to me later. Thanks very much for today.